today's reflection from Heart the Herald are the words mercy mild. Mercy mild sounds like a very gentle phrase, but let me tell you that mercy is the most important, the most powerful gift God has given us. Without God's mercy, we cannot have a relationship with him. The definition of mercy is compassion or forbearance shown to an offender. It is kindness that makes you forgive someone who you have the right to punish. Mercy is not getting what you, we deserve. We humans want a world that is ruled by justice. If someone has done wrong, they should be punished. And God's kingdom's like that too. And he has said that if someone, has, uh, if sin is committed, there is a price to be paid. Romans 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This means we've all, we all deserve punishment. <clears throat> but God in his mercy sake and loving kindness sent Jesus' his son to die on the cross for us. And he paid the price for our sin. Jesus took the punishment that we deserve. His death was the embodiment of God's mercy. God's mercy is a love that responds to our human needs in an unmerited way. It is the core of the gospel and a force that overcomes everything, filling our heart with love and joy through the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus' ministry embodies mercy. He healed the sick, cast out demons, befriended the sinners and tax collectors. The parables he taught talk about his mercy. The lost sheep demonstrates how the shepherd will not rest until he has found the one sheep that has gone astray. The lost coin tells of a widow who searches high and low for her precious coin and won't rest till she's found it. The parable of the prodigal son demonstrates that even when we have gone our own way and we have squandered everything that is given us, he is willing to forgive and restore us to the relationship with him. And instead of punishing us, he lavishes his love on us. God also wants us to be merciful to others as he has been merciful to us. The parable of the unmerciful servant demonstrates this a master had a, a servant who owed him lots of money and the servant pleaded for mercy and, and he gave and the master gave it to him by uh, clearing his debt and um, not not punishing him that same un, uh, unmerciful servant then went to another servant who owed him just a small amount of money and he would not let that servant go and threw him into jail because he couldn't pay pay the um the debt when the when the master found out about this um lack of mercy from his servant he was really angry and he then really punished the other servant um and threw him into jail and had and tortured him so it was not good so God is wanting us to show mercy to others. It's really important. In Matthew 15, verse 22, Jesus says we need to forgive others 70 times seven, and that's nearly 500 times. And I think that by saying that figure, Jesus is saying that we, we just need to keep forgiving, even though we don't want to. And we all know how hard it is to forgive someone when they've hurt us, we feel angry, we feel bitter, uh, we feel just generally uh, upset and aggrieved. But Jesus is saying we need to forgive and forgiveness is one of those powerful weapons that we have to transform the world. Uh, if, there was so, if there was much more forgiveness and compassion in this world then um, it, it would be so much better for us. Um, God's mercy will always be greater than any sin and no one can place limits on the love of God who is always ready to forgive. Uh, there is a song that I've heard that says, Our sins they are many, his mercy is more. Stronger than darkness, new every morn, our sins they are many, his mercy is more. Thank goodness for that. I'll just finish with a prayer. 
Dear Lord, thank you for your great mercy to us, that you sent Jesus to pay the price for our sin, that no matter what we do, you will keep on forgiving us. And you love us so much that you want to have that special relationship with us. Thank you, Father. Amen.